Until now, this story has been top secret. <laughs> top Secret, the exciting NBC presentation starring gorgeous Ilona Massey as the Baroness Karen Gazer in transcribed dramas of international intrigue and espionage before and during World War II. Assignment four, Escape, a story until now, top secret. As an Allied agent, in a Europe at war, my job is to fight Nazism and fascism in any and every way I can. In Hitler's Berlin, this is a dangerous job. I have been many things. A singer, a nurse, a stenographer, a manicurist. Right now, I'm the private maid, really the confidential companion of Amy Göring, wife of the air marshal himself. Assignment four began a week ago, last Thursday. I was spending my afternoon off in the tear garden, sitting on a bench and throwing crusts of bread to the fat, pompous pigeons. Come on. Oh, good well, are you hungry or aren't you? Are you? Then here. Oh, don't be so greedy. I have a whole bag full of crusts. Come on, come on. Here is another. Yeah, pitchy, 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 pitchy. <coughs> oh, you scared them. I'm sorry. Well, don't look so sad about it. There isn't exactly a shortage in pigeons. Look at that one. A big fat cross and you can't see it. Fräulein. Yes? Would you mind if... Would I mind what? Oh! Would you like to feed them? May I? Well, of course. I have a whole bag full of crust. Help yourself. Thank you very much. Oh, no, not a whole handful. Just a crust at a time. If you give them too much, they will... Oh, no. I you that hungry. Wait, please, don't go. Don't be embarrassed. Being hungry is not a crime. May I, may I finish some? Why didn't you say you were hungry? <coughs> And you are sick, too, aren't you? You are, I can see. You are sick. You shouldn't be talking to me. I'll go now. Have you no money? No. Please let me help you. Uh, no, I can't. I'll go now. Were you bombed out? Yes. Yes, bombed out. And now you have no place to go? That's right. Then please come home with me. No. That's very kind of you, but I'd rather not. Don't be proud. There are many like you. Come home with me and I have something to give you to eat. I have a small apartment around the corner. Please come. Why are you doing this? Must there be a motive to everything? I will ask nothing of you but that I be allowed to feed you. And you will ask nothing of me at all. Mm, that was wonderful. I don't know how to thank you. Then don't try. Don't even talk. How long since you have slept? Oh, I don't know. Two days, three days. I'm afraid I've lost track of time. Would you like to sleep here? No, I can't. Why are you afraid of me? No, I'm not. You are. I can see it in your eyes. Uh, look, my friend. I don't know who you are. I don't care. I do not use this apartment. You may stay here as long as you wish, or you may leave now. It's up to you. Well, if... I'm so tired. Could I stretch out on your couch for an hour? Of course you may. If you can sleep after that enormous meal, you must be very tired. Oh, I was a bit of a pig, must I? <sighs> I'm afraid the couch is too short. Oh, no. It's wonderful. Wonderful. <sighs> No. No. He was a poor answer. If I have a man, Tom. If I have a man. Oh. 
If I were you, I would stay right where you are, Philip. What do you mean? I know who you are. You were clawing at your collar, your shirt opened. I saw your identification discs. You are Flight Lieutenant Philip George Cornelius, RAF. The door is locked. Look here, I, I don't want to hurt you. But if you don't give me that key, I'll have to take it. But of course I'll give it to you. Here. Take it. I... I just don't understand you. The door was locked to keep people out, not to keep you in. Now, will you sit down and listen to me? Go ahead. I'm an allied agent. I'm on the same side as you are. But your accent, how... how could... I was once the Baroness Karen Gaze of Vienna. Believe me, I hate the Germans as much as you do. Sleep here tonight. And keep away from the windows and don't answer the door. I will come back tomorrow and at noon. I think I can find a way to get you out of Berlin. How? Through my employer. Someone important? The wife of someone important. Who? Emmy Goering. Emmy? Not the Emmy Goering? Yes. The Reichs Marshal's wife? Mm-hmm. You are working as a spy inside the Goering house? Very successfully. What's she like? Well, sometimes she's kind, but sometimes she's a fiend. Well, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Remember, don't answer the door and don't go to the windows. And don't worry. I know how to get things from women, too. Well, Karen, you asked for a week off. I've said you could have it. But now I want my hair set and a manicure. Then I want you to go to... What are you crying about? You are so good. So kind. No other woman in Berlin has your heart. I admire you so much. I believe in being fair. You're a good maid. You work hard. Now stop sniffling and start on my hair. Yes, Frau Gurig. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, are you in some sort of trouble? Well, are you? Answer me, Karen, when I ask a question. No, no, I'm not in trouble. A friend of mine is in trouble. Ah, a man. I knew it. I have not seen him for so long, Frau Göring. He's a flyer. He was wounded. Now he's better. In a week, he reports back to his base. So, what do you expect me to do? I said you could have a week off. I was... I was wondering if, if you could possibly... Well, say it, say it. Don't be timid. Oh, I suppose they wouldn't allow you to. You suppose what? I suppose they wouldn't allow you to loan me a car for a week. Allow me? Yes. Uh, Fritz at the motor pool said that, well, he hinted that you couldn't. Oh, he did, did he? If you want a car, you may have it. My little Opel with gas. Now type a note to Fritz and I will sign it. Allow me indeed. <laughs> Philip, Philip, it's me. I thought you'd never come. I brought you a suit, a razor, some underwear, and a shirt. And best of all, I've got a car. A car for a whole week. A car where? Frau Göring loaned me her Opel. With a tank full of gas and extra tickets. I've got to go to the motor pool and get it. I'll be back in an hour. In the meantime, you can clean up. Where did you get the money for all this? Never mind. Be dressed and ready to leave when I get back. Karen. Yes? While you were out, the paper came. 
You didn't go to the door. I told no, you No, I that. heard the girl deliver it, and I took it in after she'd left. What's the matter? The second column, there. Read it. In consequence of increasing air raids upon German cities, the High Command has made the decision that all enemy Air Force personnel who land on German territory will henceforth not be taken prisoner, but... but will be shot on sight. If you're with me, they'll shoot you too, helping a prisoner to escape. You can't do it. I can manage somehow. It's inhuman. Inhuman. It's Germany. We'll just have to risk it. No, I'll risk it, not you. It will be my way or not at all. I'll go for the car. Be ready to leave when I get back. I can't get over you. Tell me about yourself. Oh, not much to tell. Born in a little town called Brockenhurst, not far from Southampton. To Lord Oxford. Then came the war and I enlisted. <laughs> How brief a story can one tell? <laughs> Talking about it makes me homesick. <laughs> I say, what's that? They're flashlights ahead. Lean back and keep quiet. No, run them down. Run them down. I said keep quiet. There is a better way. Please do as I say, and for goodness sake, don't open your mouth. That accent would give you a vain a second. I've heard some bad German in my days, but nothing like yours. All right, Fräulein, pass the curfew hour. There's no private traffic out of Berlin tonight. Have you looked at the license plate, Sergeant? I'm not interested, Fräulein. Turn back. Perhaps you will be interested in the crest on the bonnet. Go ahead. Use your flashlight. Right, Marshal. Forgive me, Fräulein. I did not know this. Uh, I presume you have permission? Your caution is praiseworthy, Sergeant. Just don't go too far. Here is an order signed by Frau Göring herself. Thank you, Fräulein. I will raise the barrier... Proceed, Fräulein. Have a good journey. I hit now. <laughs> you see how easy it is when one knows the right people? Now we are out of Berlin. You wonderful. You didn't turn a hair, and I thought I'd shake right out of my clothes. A man with courage is a man who controls his fear. If you were afraid, you didn't show it. Now where? You'll find a map in the glove compartment. Get out. Get it out, please. All right, eh? Find the central autobahn, the main highway. It's a heavy green line. Which direction? South. South? We'll never get to England going south. And which way would you suggest? Why, west, of course. Yes? Yeah? Through the entire German army, through occupied France, through the Channel Coast fortifications, then swim across the Channel. Is that your idea of best way? <laughs> I'm overruled. What's your plan? A diagonal across Germany. Follow me on the map. Berlin to Leipzig. Right. Leipzig to Plauen. Plauen to Nuremberg. Nuremberg to Ulm. Then we go across... Hold it, hold it, hold it. Um, right, then? Across to Friedrichshaven, on the Bodensee. Then to Lake Constance. And there I'll drop you off. You can get a fishing boat across to Switzerland. Switzerland? But I'd be holed up there for the rest of the war. And what's wrong with that? There are other names on this map, Karen. Belsen, Buchenwald, Dachau, Auschwitz. Rotten, horrible names like sores. I can't sit it out in Switzerland. What are you stopping for? Karen, why are you stopping? Because I want to think. Can't you get me back to England? I am in this kind of work for one reason, the same reason you are, to fight. But Philip, we are surrounded. Denmark occupied, Holland occupied, Belgium occupied, France occupied. There is no other way but Switzerland. Please take me to Holland, please. I'll risk it for the Dutch. They'll pass me through the underground and I can get to the North Sea. Thousands of our boys have come back that way. I know that I'll be able... I've no right to endanger you. It's your decision. We'll go wherever you say.
we drove across Germany, from Brandenburg to Bielefeld. The Göring crest and the bonnet of the car opened every barrier. We drove by night, traveling the back roads in the daytime we slept. Wherever we could find a hidden place, on the bridges, in forests, in haystacks. Karen, wake up. What time is it? It's dark enough to start. It's 8.30. I never knew a haystack could feel so wonderful. Most of it's in your head at the moment. From where we are, it's hard to imagine there is a war at all. Look at the sunset that's mm. left of it. Pinks and the reds. If only the whole world could be like this. Someday, perhaps. I wonder. Oh, I believe in miracles now, after having met you. We're halfway there. Münster is more than halfway. How far are we from the town itself? Oh, about a mile. But we won't go through it. We'll go around it. Then west to Coesfield, to Wessel. If we are lucky, we can reach uh, Wessel. Karen, listen. Where are they? There. Over there. Hundreds of them. Look, Karen, those are Lancasters. Sterlings. They are going to bomb Münster. It's a saturation raid. We'll have to go back. No, we're safer here in the open country. We are only a mile from the center of the town. Please, Philip, let's turn back. Karen, you can't raise a Lancaster in a German car. We'll have to sit it out. Look, Karen, Canadians. Go ahead, boys. Give it to them. Give it to them. Blast them right off the earth. Philip! Speak to me, Philip. You can't die. I won't let you die. It's no use, Karen. Don't say that. Don't. You are going home. You are going home to England. Please, Philip, don't give up. Please. <coughs> Leave me, Karen. Don't be a fool. <coughs> Leave me. Try to stand up. Please, Philip. <coughs> no. <coughs> it's no use. Stop that. Stop it. We'll get you to a doctor. Somehow we'll get you to the doctor. Just, just a few steps more. <coughs> don't faint, please don't faint again. Don't be afraid. I've got my gun. Don't be afraid. Come to join. Doctor, help us. My brother was hurt on the road to Münster. Yeah, yeah, come in. Shrapnel in the shoulder. On the couch, please, Fräulein. That's it. Easy, easy. Lean on me. That's it, there. We were caught in the raid on Münster. He's lost so much blood. Do not worry, Fräulein. You will expose the shoulder, please. I have no nurse. Yes, doctor. I will not be a moment. You are safe now, Philip. You are safe. There his shirt, Fräulein. Well back. Yes, Doctor. Oh! So good. He has fainted. That is an angry shoulder. What are those? Identification tags. A-R-F? You mean he's English? Yes. Those are English dog tags. Uh, Fräulein. And this is a German pistol. You will remove the shrapnel. Nein. I've heard a doctor's take an oath to help the sick heal the wound. I'm a German. I cannot. You're a doctor. You will. Well, doctor? Very well. Scalpel, please, Fräulein. <laughs> It is done. Are you all right, Philip? Yes. Yes, I'm all right. A doctor. 
We want food. At the point of a gun, Fräulein? Doctor, I am Viennese. I am different from your stolid German women. It would not cost me a thought to kill you. I've killed before. Now food, and quickly. I have some bread, some fresh milk. That is all. Get it. should have shot him, Karen. We will be across the border station in two hours. He will keep until then locked in his cellar. I have a feeling that something is... Lie back. Try to get some sleep. In another two hours, it will be all over. There's a bridge at Newmargen, and from there you can follow the Wall River to the sea. I'll wake you up at the border station. Control, Neymagen, Colonel Dietz speaking. In my direction? What kind of a car? Hmm. Opel. Yeah. Wounded man and the girl. Her brother. Oh, yeah. RIF. Doctor in Münster. Yeah, we will watch. I assure you they will not pass. Right. I'll be the heron. Sergeant! Double Hacker. What is it, sir? A man and a woman in an opal, headed this way from Münster. He is an English flyer, and they are posing as brother and sister. You know the law? They will be shot. Yeah, Hacker. You will wait and see to it yourself. They will be here in an hour or two. Bring them to me instantly. The what? At once. And remember, Sergeant, you are on detention tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, well, Hacker. That's all. Watch for them. If there is any trouble, shoot on sight. Don't ask questions, don't argue, shoot. Now go. Philip, Philip, wake up. Mm. We are coming to the border station. This is the most dangerous barrier yet, and the last. We are brother and sister, and we lost our papers in the Münster raid. But the Göring crest and the car will work once more. What if they stop us? Shall we make a dash for it? They won't stop us. Nobody stopped us yet. And for heaven's sake, don't speak. Pretend you're asleep. Good evening, Fräulein. Your papers, please. We lost them in the raid on Münster. Turn off your motor. Certainly. Now, get out. Sergeant, my my brother is badly hurt. Shrapnel in the shoulder. He has lost so much blood. Your brother? Yes, I said that. Get out of the car, Fräulein, and the man, too. If you will look at the bonnet of the car, you will notice I am that... not interested in the car. I am interested in you. Both of you. Get out, now. We are looking for a wounded brother. <laughs> Herr Colonel, the prisoner, sir. Bring them in, Sergeant. Marsh. I said Marsh! How? Anyone can strike a wounded man, Sergeant. When I say march, you march. Now go on. So, this is the wounded brother and his sister. How very interesting. And how very unconvincing. I would advise you to identify yourself, my young friend. Don't say anything, Philip. Fräulein, I will deal with you later. Now, Herr Leutnant, who are you? Come, come, we know you are a British flyer. You will be shot in any case. If you identify yourself, you will have a cross on your grave. If you don't, you will be buried in a pit of lime. You have three seconds in which to choose. I'm Lieutenant Philip George Cornelius, 2727 said Royal Air Force. I was shot down over Berlin two weeks ago. Thank you, Herr Leutnant. Sergeant! Colonel! You, Herr Leutnant, will wait. Uh, take the girl upstairs. I will deal with her personally. Oh, Herr Colonel. You may go, Fräulein. Which way, Sergeant? Fräulein, wait. 
Did he say you had come all the way from Berlin? Yes, in four days. You have perhaps friends in the underground in Holland, yes? Why are you asking me this? Fräulein, I... Germany is sick. With America in the war, we cannot win. I have tried many times to get out. I, I was a baker. I made bread. These Nazis, there... There is such a thing as a German who is not a monster. What are you suggesting? Take me with you. You are not serious. I'm partly Jewish. The colonel knows. He, he makes me do things that I do. Simply by a telephone call, he can finish me. That is why I struck you, brother. I must pretend to be brutal. I, I'm not naturally an animal, Fräulein. You mean, you mean you will help us? It is only a hundred yards to the Dutch frontier. The underground will help a British flyer. If I get you out of this place, will you take me with you, yes? But the colonel... Will you take me with you? Of course we'll take you. Then I will deal with the colonel now. I've waited a long time for this. If you refuse to talk, Leitnant, what is it, Sergeant? Goodbye, Herr Colonel. <laughs> Come with me, please. No. We get through Holland in the boat. Karen, I love you. There isn't much time to say it. I want you to marry me. You would not sit out the war in Switzerland. My job is back in Berlin. But you may not get back. This way is sure. Please. I'll get back. By the time they discover his body, I'll be at Münster. Don't talk anymore, Philip. Go. Then after. Will you come to me afterward? Afterward. Perhaps. If you want to. <laughs> I want to very much. Schleusen, please! All right. Hope for it, Karen. Pray for it. Pray for it, yes. Every day. Schleusen! I love you. Coming! Goodbye, Philip. The little boat fled down the river into the darkness. He had gone. And something of me had gone with him. A week later, I was back in Berlin, in the private air raid shelter of the House of Göring. Just Frau Göring and myself. You never told me, Karen. Your friend, that you enjoy the week together? Very much, Frau Göring. He has gone back to his base? Yes. But he will come back to Berlin. Well, I... Yes. Yes, he will come back to Berlin. In fact, I have the feeling he is very close right now. You have just heard Ilona Massey starring in NBC's Top Secret. Here she is again to tell you about next week. Next week, a woman in an armchair, a sable coat, and the forgery that fooled Berlin. The story of a cast and a broken leg, and a theft. It is a story that has been, until now, Top Secret. <laughs> Top Secret, in part transcribed, is produced by Harry W. Junkin. The script by Alan Sloan. Featured with Miss Massey was Lester Fletcher as Philip. Other players in the cast were Louis Van Ruten, Brian Rayburn, Carl Emery, and Earl Hammond. The music was composed and conducted by Dr. Roy Shields. Fred Collins speaking. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.